Hey guys, this is William from 5278C, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to model a rubber band in Fusion 360. So I'm just going to change the document settings to inches, and I'm also going to go to the bottom right corner and do do not capture design history. So I know that there may be some benefits to the design history, but in my opinion, it just creates a lot of lag, so I turn it off when I start modeling things. Um, then I'm just going to import in a few sprockets and an axle. And uh, you can go to the VEX page for sprockets to get the CAD files, or I'll leave a link in the description um, where you can download um, like one folder with all VEX CAD files. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna rotate it like this. You know, for this design, I might just not put an axle in. Uh, so once you import the part, you're going to want to break the link um, so you can start editing it. And I'm going to uh, con control C copy, and I'm going to paste new. So you want to paste new um, just so that it the new sprocket is independent from the old one, and any changes you make won't carry over. So then I'm going to create a sketch um, on this front plane here. And so I found online the dimensions of rubber bands. So VEX has size 32 and size 64 rubber bands, and they are um, both the same thickness but they have different widths. So for now we're just going to draw, sketch out a rectangle about here. Actually, I'm going to undo that. See if I can get it closer to... Yeah, that's better. And we're going to come down here and see if I can place it right about there. And we are going to finish the sketch. And then we are going to um, extrude this, E for extrude. And the skinny rubber bands, the size 32s, are one eighth of an inch, so we're just going to model those, and the thicker ones are one fourth of an inch thick. So to do fractions in Fusion uh, one fourth, you put the inch sign after the first number, the numerator. Don't know why. One inch over four. Oh, we're going to make it a new body. Uh, so we have that. Then we're going to come to modify. And we are going to make a shell on both sides. And uh, the dimensions would be a 32nd of an inch, so 1 inch over 32. And we have our rubber band. So there's the basic shape of it. And Let's just make sure that it shows up on both sides. Yes, it does. And yes, it does. And then we are going to move it. It's a body right now, so. Let's just move it. And set the pivot as the middle of the sprocket and then rotate it let's just say seven degrees and then for bodies uh, you don't have to do the whole paste new thing so we're just going to rotate 15 degrees because this is a 24 tooth sprocket 
and 360 divided by 24 is 15. So we are just going to keep on pasting. I have a few, so I'm just going to copy paste all of them. Looks like we just need two more. So let's just take the last two and rotate. So there's that. Now we have an intake roller uh, filled with, wrapped with rubber bands. And you're just going to highlight all of those and change their appearance to a nice vex orange. Uh, I'm just going to put them as plastic because I don't know of a rubber physical material in vex, so I'll just put them as ABS plastic and I'll give it a nice orange. That's a bit yellow. Orange. Let's highlight all of these. Like that. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Um, let's just go ahead and make these green. So there you go. Now we have two sprockets with rubber bands wrapped around them. Now, since these are just bodies, they aren't actual rubber, so I don't know if you wanted to run any simulations or something, um, they will act as a rigid material. Um, but anyways, thank you for watching, and I hope this helped you model rubber bands.